We have a devastating update to share on breaking news we've been following since yesterday. A missing five year old boy with autism has sadly been found dead in a pond more than 13 hours after he went missing. This all happened in Waldorf, Maryland. Jacqueline Quinn is in studio. Jackie's been following the developments overnight and Jackie, we understand the child's body was found not far from his home. Yeah, that's the latest information that we have right now. Just released uh, five hours ago by Charles County Sheriff's Office. Five year old Miles McMahon's body uh, was located by members of the Maryland State Police dive team in a pond near his uh, home that police had initially searched earlier. We're working to find out exactly where, but we can see on a map there are at least two bodies of water not too far away from where he was reported missing. And you can see some of the pictures police shared with us of little Miles McMahon when they were initially looking for for uh, asking for help in finding him. Police say Miles had autism and was nonverbal. He was reported missing Sunday morning from the area near St. Paul's Drive and Piney Church Road uh, by his house, and he was seen on home surveillance. Uh, leaving his house and skipping in the front yard. Family members had hoped to find him quickly and began searching for him, but when they couldn't, they called 911. Police then spread this message out to the community, asking people to check shrubs, hiding places, and even asked that lights be left on to help crews search. But again, sadly, Miles was located in a body of water not too far away from his home. That dive teams initially worked in. It took another team later in the day to find Miles. The Charles County Sheriff's Office say their thoughts are with Miles' family during this difficult time and ask everyone to keep his family in their thoughts and prayers. And we've covered a number of cases where a nonverbal child or a child with autism has gone missing. And experts tell us the first thing parents or caretakers should do is call police for help as soon as a child is missing. They know some parents or people are afraid they'll get in trouble, but they say generally uh, they won't. Allison. Just a really sad story. Jackie, thank you so much. You're welcome. As the family deals with this tragedy, police are urging all families with an autistic family member to be careful around bodies of water. Police say drowning is the number one cause of premature death for those on the autism spectrum. And I want to share something else that I found. According to the Autism Society of Florida, many people with autism, they're drawn to water because of the multisensory experience it provides. Of course, our thoughts go out to this family during this extremely difficult time.